Welcome to day three of our week four devotional uh, in our First John series. And today we're going to look in at First John chapter two, verses one and two. And, and there's this, this beautiful word here that is used to describe who Jesus is in our lives. And there's this word John writes and he says, my dear children, right? John's like this loving elderly father. He says, my dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. We have an advocate. Now, when you hear that word advocate, what comes to mind? That's our first question to start out. When you hear that word advocate, what comes to mind for you? We see that John is writing it, and really his hope for everyone who follows the way of Jesus is that we would never sin again. It's a great hope and a great desire. But John also understands that we would not reach perfection. He said, if anyone does sin, we have an advocate. If we do sin, we have hope. That hope is not in trying harder, or doing better, or having greater willpower. Our hope is in our advocate. Our hope is in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Our hope is in the one who is light. We walk in the light as he is in the light and we have fellowship with him. We walk by the spirit and we don't gratify the desires of the flesh. We wanna live in the light. Jesus, as our advocate, is literally one who pleads a case on someone's behalf or a close, helpful advisor. That's what Jesus does for us. But that's not all that Jesus does for us. In 1 John 2, 2, Jesus is described as the one who pays the debt of our sin. He is the atoning sacrifice. He pays the price for our sin debt. So not only is he our advocate, not only speaking to God for us, pleading on our behalf, he also covers the cost of our sins through his shed blood on the cross. What greater news is there than that? That brings us to the question, how does that news impact your view of Jesus? And then the second question, how does it bring hope to your faith as you try to follow the way of Jesus. We encourage you to reflect on those questions, to spend some time thinking through them, to share your answers with others, to talk about those questions with others. And uh, we, we thank you for joining us this week. This ends our week four devotional, but we look forward to seeing you in our next week, day one devotional, continuing the conversation and learning and growing together through this book of 1 John.